Hi there, he's Tati from Mameos. Today I would like to explain the advanced subparts in the product detail panel. In the characteristics tab, you can add unique product properties that are not shared with other products. For example, an EAN number. This is a unique identification number of a product. All other properties are shown on the product detail page. You can also add shared product attributes. Three different attribute types are available. Variant attributes, regular attributes, and hidden attributes. Variant attributes are only valid for selection products and are added automatically when you add new variant articles. Regular attributes describe the product characteristics and are used for building search facets. First, you can select the attribute type, for example, material, and then the available attribute, for example, steel. Hidden attributes are stored with the order products, for example, a commission of 5%. Customers can't see hidden attributes in the front end, but they are available in the order and can be used for internal purposes. You can see the attributes in the product detail page under characteristics. In the options tab, you can add configurable and custom product attributes. Configurable attributes are optional product components that can be added by the customer as part of the product. For example, a bike basket. Customers can enter own values for custom attributes, which are then stored in a basket. For example, a text or a date. As you can see, the customer can now add a bike basket to the bike and enter a custom text for his bike. Both configurable and custom attributes can have own prices which are added to the product total value. In the products tab, you can add suggested products and products brought together. Products that are bought together can be automatically generated by a cron job, based off the orders like Amazon does. I'll choose another bike, a suggested product, and a bike helmet, for example. You can see these products on the product detail page. Adding suppliers will display supplier-related information for products. You can use it for brands or other entities offering the products. Promotional suppliers are not used at the moment, but if you add at least one supplier, then the supplier information will be displayed in the front end. The physical tab offers input fields for package length, width, height and weight used for shipping. Which unit you use depends on you, but you must use the same unit for all dimensions, e.g. always centimeter or meter. This information is also shown on the product detail page on the front end. Every product can be offered a subscription, which is renewed after the selected time frame. In the subscription tab, you can select or add the intervals the customer can choose from for their recurring order. Here we can select once per month or once per year, 
which you can add arbitrary timeframes to. As you can see, the customer can now select to buy the bike every month or every year. Files uploaded in the Downloads tab are available as paid downloads or virtual products that can be downloaded. If you want to update a paid download, you can choose to override the old file, so customers who have already ordered can get the new file too. Free downloads such as building instructions should be added to the media tab with the type download instead. And the last tab shows all orders which contains the product. You can filter the list of orders, uh, step to the page list if there are more than 25 orders, and click on each line to jump directly to the order. Tada! Thanks for watching. See you. You're Tati from Ramirez.